This is Roman, and Roman is from Russia, and he's here to study at, uh, well, in the UK. Now, if you didn't know, Roman is actually a Olympic time champion at uh, bear racing. So, as you can probably guess, in Russia, they have very different language to what we have in the UK, especially when you consider the slang, Russian slang versus UK slang. Apparently, when you're learning foreign language, you learn it from mostly books or movies and from your teachers but it's a completely different experience when you come into another country and trying to talk to people on the streets, talk to people in real life. That's one of the main points of learning a new language when you need to go with the flow and listen how people really speak. Shall we start with an easy one, yeah? Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, whip. <laughs> Whip, whip. This room is really weak. No, 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 that is not how, no, okay. Okay, fair enough. Man pulled up in a German whip. That, that's, that's like an example. Man pulled up in a German whip. Yeah. Can you buy it in a usual supermarket? No, no, well, as Cornish a toy, whip. yes, but not as a, as as a, a full whip. As a full whip, it'll be a scaled whip. Is it a sex toy? No, <laughs> oh my god, it's so easy, man. German, because it's connected to German, that's just fantastic. Man had four things in his whip. It's like a house. No, 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 no. Four things in his whip. No, four things, things. Ah, things. things. Ah, things. Yeah, I might okay. be saying it too fast for you. Oh, sorry. A whip is something that can be it, 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 it's a yeah, okay, it's okay. a mechanism that takes you from A to B. Ah, all right, okay. So it's like a gear or something. Gear, yeah, right. What, what has gears? What has gears? Oh, like a gearbox. Something like. And what, where does a gearbox go? The car. Boom! <laughs> 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 so whip is another term for car. It's oh, so such a, it was such a weird example. The man has. Four teens, four and tings, tings, ah, tings, ah, you know, tings, like, yeah. Ah, ah, first I follow, it's you tings. Know. Your turn. Okay, my turn. Tachka. Dachka. Uyachka. Tachka. 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 Не дашка. Тачка. Тачка. Okay, you can say, we grabbed a tachka mm. and moved to different place in the city. Is this weed? No. The train? No. Bus? No. Okay. Um, no, but you're close. You're close. Taxi? No. Car? Yeah. It's a whip? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's glad. <laughs> Congratulations. You're oh almost God. Russian. I'm gonna no. Go. Here we go. Here's, here's an interesting one. But it's kind of two in one, okay? Peak and deep. deep. Peak and deep. Yeah. Ah, that's together. That's all together. They, they basically yeah. are two different words but they are very similar to each other. So pick it, obviously you pick something, right? No, no. It was peak how man got shut down after that, yeah? Second context, okay? That's really deep what you're telling me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, sounds like... <laughs> sounds like uh, from some rap song. Uh, um, it was sudden. Okay, it was unfair. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, they didn't expect these kind of measures Probably this guy just was walking down the street and said to him, just show them, fuck you, and they just shut him down. It was peak. Yeah. They could beat him up. That, that is pretty much it. Yeah. Like, peak and deep are context dependent. But it's usually like peak in the case of the extremity of the situation. It was uh, unexpected. It was too extreme. Deep is like something that's quite harsh. Mm -hmm. And something that's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, not, not, um, not favored, you could say. So basically, it's not a word, but that's idiom. Mm -hmm. And it really relates to English. So it sounds like this. Uh, leave, very, 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 very. leave or walk away like an Englishman. What how, does how, it mean? How do, how do I say it? Uiti pa anglijski. Uiti pa anglijski. Uiti. 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 Hey, uiti. It was an appropriate <laughs> word. It was a fancy word. Uiti. <laughs> uiti. Yeah. Poor, poor, Angliski. Angliski. I've, I've actually, I don't know the origin oh, of oh, the phrase. I think, I think I'm not, okay. okay is it yeah. walk away intact, or if you walk away like an Englishman, is this to, is a reference to how English people walk stuck up like? No, I don't think so. I mean, it means some, uh, some certain, it has some certain meaning like uh, to walk away in some certain way, you know? Okay, uh, let's do charades. Oh, I, I just show you how, how you can, 
we cheap on английский. How you can walk away like an Englishman. Hello, how's it going? I'm I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, absolutely fine. What are you up to today, tonight? Well, I was wiping my butt and my finger slipped through it. Okay, and then I just okay, okay. What? You walk away. You can't come in the room now. <laughs> <laughs> no, the way I walked away, just I didn't tell anything at all. Like I didn't tell you goodbye. Oh, oh, you goodbye. oh! You mean like Englishman just doesn't say bye? So bye, bye. Away. Yeah, I okay. don't know why. I don't know why we have this phrase, but like walk away like an Englishman or live like an English. It means like you mean, walk away without farewell. Now you already know this word here, yeah? But it's not the same way that you already know the word. Pain. Pain. Just pain. Without a ting. No ting. Just pain. Ernest from a pain ting. Mm. It could be something cool. Mhm. Mm something. Mhm. Mm Wonderful. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's right. it. Oh. That's pretty much it. <laughs> pain can be used as a way to describe um, something that you like, something that's cool, someone oh. that is like good looking as well. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. Let's... Well, I guess that's kind of an international word. Shabuka. 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 Ha. Ha. Shabuka. Shabuka. So it's just. Shabuka. Shabuka. Is it like kebabs? It is. Yes. It is, isn't it? Yes. Shashlik. No, no, no. Okay, okay, no, no. Kebab, you know kebab. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Shawma. Yeah, like shawma and that. Sha shawma, yeah. You call it oh, shawma. Oh, we shit. call it shawma. And when we. It, just, uh, it reduced yeah. the, the ending, we just go for shavuka. Eh, brat, можно шурму по братски приготовить шурму. Цикл блит. Don't look, man. Be. 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 E E A R. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not your best friend. We're talking about bear as in B A R E. That's bear long. A lot of time. And it also. You're aware that your time is going to be long, but what else? But why would you even say that's bear long? These people are stupid. They don't want to use normal language. Because it's like kind of that kind of time that you don't really enjoy that much. And I. Okay. So when you use like bear, it's more like an emphasis. Ah, oh, but that would be bear long. Uh, or you could say like man has bear peas. You could say you're glorifying the word that's to follow and its context. They say you bear stupid. Yes. Word is madly offensive. Bofik. What? Bofik. 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 Bo. 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 Is it to say someone stupid? It sounds like exclamation. Okay, you can, for example, say, Oh, I got my. Exam results, yeah. and it's really shitty. That's fuck it. Oh, you mean? Oh, it's like fuck it. Yeah, that's it's true. like yeah, fuck it, it's exactly. Okay. It's like okay, okay, I think I see what you're trying to Five points to Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Freps, 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 pancakes. No, 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 no. Because he, the, the pancakes you don't wear. You cannot wear pancakes. Ah, crabs. Ah, ah, where? Okay. Give me the man. <laughs> That's a fucking trainers. Bam! Bam! You got this shit, man. Okay, let's go. Bomba. What? Bomba. 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 Not boomba. Bomba. Bomba. Yeah, exactly. Bomba. Perfect. Does it mean ass? Uh, no. It sounds the same in English. It sounds the same in English. Yeah, so it's context. Bomba. Try to create a correlation to it. Bombastic? Mm. Is yeah. it like to say that something is good and praising it? Like... Yes, exactly. You say like that's the bomb. Yeah, that's the bomb. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get you. I probably you got the same stuff. Can you we, say. But nobody really uses that because obviously, okay. you know, terrorism and shit. Give me my official permission to go to the last word. Lips. Uh, let me get. Um... Yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like. Okay, lips, lips. Ah, lips, lips. Something like. Like opening and closing. Like, yeah? When you meet a girl. Okay. And you're into her. And she likes you. Or if you're gay, if you meet a guy and he likes you. If you meet someone you like and they like you, yeah. What do you usually do? This. And what can you say? Nothing. You just no. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you go lips her. 
he lips the girl. Ah, okay, so basically Z. let's kiss. It's let's like a kiss, kiss to make out, you know? Okay. So guys, I hope that this video has been educational. It's been a lot of fun, learning a little bit of uh, the Russian slang. And yeah, thanks to you because you gave me some, some perception of real British slang. I hope Oman over here has taken away something beautiful from the English language. What on the Hopefully Roman. Nonetheless, I hope that we can all take something away from this and a little bit of fascination from what we can learn. And I hope you guys enjoyed it out there. Um, let me know what I've gone down below. Yeah. And uh, take from there. Take care. Oh, those Russians.